In the last video, I showed you some of the supplies you're going to need to build your dual deployment rocket. And I forgot to mention one item, and that is a body tube and a rocket kit. Uh, you're going to need a rocket kit, either a BT-55 if you're building that eBay, or a 29 millimeter. Um, you're also going to need a body tube here uh, to put the parachute uh, for the second dual deployment. Um, so this minimum length is about seven or eight inches, depending on the size of the parachute. You could probably get all the way with a little smaller one. So that's what you're going to need. So let's get started building, because I know you want to do that. Um, we're going to start with the eBay sled, which is this plywood piece right here. And to start, I want you to take some sandpaper, and this is about 220 grit sandpaper, and I want you to sand both sides. Okay, now we're going to pop out the pieces and we want to start with the sled and these four circular pieces. We're going to leave all the little smaller pieces in for right now. And these should pop out. Oh, that piece fell out anyway. Some pieces fall out easier than others. Okay, so if you want, you can sand the sides of the sled and see this rounded area. I'm going to sand the sides of that too. And if you want to chamfer this edge here, that's the edge that is removable. That's where the bulkhead goes. So I'm just kind of rounding that just a little bit. That will make it easier to take on and put back. Take, take off and put on. Okay. Um, on these little discs here, go ahead and pop out the little slots and the little holes. Um, I'm just taking a little small screwdriver and just pushing hard on them. And we'll discard that and keep the disc. You'll notice that these are numbered. Um, you can also number them with a marker, and the instructions will tell you to do that. Um, you'll notice B1 and B2 have a slot but no center hole, where A1 and A2 have the, the, the center holes along with the slots. So those two will go together, and these two will go together. Pretty simple so far, huh? Um, the slot is we'll go over the eBay sled like this, and if it's tight, we got to sand it. Um, this also had a slot in it, and I removed that one. It fell out. You got a hole there. So now both ends, you need to be able to put it through the slot. So go ahead and test that. And if it's not going through very easily, sand down the tab on the end. We got some dust. <laughs> okay, that's much better. Both sides. Okay, that's good. Now, on the sled, you'll also see this little piece right here. That is for specifically for one of the altimeters, the Easy Mini altimeter, which is this one right here. Now, if you look at it, it has a USB port on the side, and that's how you connect it to your computer to change the settings and things. Now, the straddle logger doesn't have that, so this is only for the Altus Metrum Easy Mini. So, if it's mounted on the board, um, 
you can't get the USB cord in because um, it's too far away. So we gave you that little tab here and you can just knock that out too. And that way when your altimeter is mounted on the board, like right here, now I can get my USB cord in without having to remove the altimeter every time. So that's what that's for. If you're using the straddle logger, don't worry about it. Okay, so I got that all sanded. Uh, now we're gonna start gluing things together. Get that stuff out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna take um, A1 and A2, and you'll notice that A2 is slightly bigger than A1. Um, that's because it's going to create a little shoulder to go inside the couplers. So we're going to um, glue these together, but before we do, on A1, the side that goes away from A2, um, I'm gonna chamfer that edge a little bit because it's gonna need to slide into here, and if it's radius a little bit, then it will go in just ever so easier. Easily, easier, I don't know. So you can see I'm just kind of rounded off just that edge. I'm kind of chamfering it a little bit just to make it a little easier to put together. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna take some glue, wood glue. I'm gonna smear it on the back of here. You're gonna to wanna to have some paper towels ready. This gets messy and you don't, you're gonna to wanna to clean out the slots after you put them together. Okay, so just line up your holes like that. Give a good squish. because You wanna squish all that glue out. Anything that's gonna come out, we wanna get it out now. And while the glue is still wet, wipe it off. Don't allow this to dry quite yet. See on the inside of that slot, I wanna, I wanna empty that out too. And I'm gonna just take a small screwdriver, push it through, wipe it off. Same with the holes. Um, push it through, don't, don't push in there and pull back because then you're putting it right back on again. So push it through, wipe it off. That's just a little tip up for you. Okay, now we wanna make, absolutely make sure that this is centered and not slid to one side or the other. So that's where we're gonna slide it onto the sled. And I wanna make sure that there's no glue in there because this disc has to be removable. It must be able to come off or things are gonna get really bad. So I'm wiping out the glue out of the slot. I'm gonna slide it through the slot and once I do, it centers everything up really nice. So make sure that this doesn't get glued. So keep wiggling it back and forth it's really tight. There must be a little bit of glue in there. Um, clean that surface off. Make sure that there's no glue on it. Just like that. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so that's A1 and A2. We're gonna do the same thing with B1 and B2. So we're going to line them up. I'm gonna determine which one I need to sand. So it's B1. Also has the little tabs where it was stuck into the uh, plywood. You can knock those off if you want. Okay, so I gotta flip one of these over. So make sure all my holes line up. Get out my wood glue and let's do it again. squeeze okay got a 
with a wipe out any extra with the paper towel. And I'm going to slide it on here. Yeah, good. That's a nice fit. All right. So um, B2 actually does get glued onto the board, uh, but it's on the opposite end where it says Apogee. So we want to glue it onto this side and we want the smallest ring facing the board. So I'm going to just put some glue on the tab here on both sides. And, oh, and the other thing is this, the whole side. The whole side has to be up on the lettering. So just like that. Just slide it in like that and then you can wipe off the glue. You can put a fillet on this end if you want. It adds a little bit more strength. And once I do that, then I'm going to allow this to dry. And we'll come back and start putting together the couplers. So that will be the next video. Just cleaning out that hole right there like that. Okay, so I'll be back and we'll start assembling the couplers.